So in my case I can use the load project but if you want to create a new project just click there. Select no stacking if you have only one uh, set of cameras, three cameras for instance, for flattening. Select the kind of uh, screen you have. I have a double curved horseshoe basically so you can adjust almost anything on it and select map on projector if you want to align on the projector screen as, as I will show to you how and, uh, and I will I have done before but you can also map on camera in case you have a free view to the screen anyhow I will go back to load project file it will not be correct but I'll show you how to do this select the file that is called project dot project I have one here load it into the file it will start like this and then if everything is connected to the other PC it will find the projectors like that but since the resolutions aren't correct in my case and they are located in the wrong, wrong uh, settings it says here 2471 times 1106 which is not correct according to this one here it's uh, 2850 times 1100 and the resolution is wrong so it will say like this, I double clicked on any one of them and then try to connect the projectors it says it doesn't match select no projectors re-select 3 times 1 and then I go down to here and custom resolution 1920 times 1081 for some reason it's a bit off but it doesn't matter, it's how they are located again double click select the projectors, it will ask automatically connect all projectors after that they will start connecting like so eventually like so and when it's ready this far you can click on the arrow and you have the mesh that you can adjust like so there you can see the mesh. I'm not going to align the dots now, but that's not the important thing. The important, important thing is to go into settings, screens and views. And here is the important part to go to the screen point, select the angles you need. You have to measure those so you know. Also the radius, the radius on top, the begin vertical and the end vertical. So that's basically where your horizontal line is. and upwards and downwards. What's important here is select how many columns and how many rows you need. This will tell you from these results here like this. This is going to be 28 to almost 27 and a half centimeter long. I will show you on my screen shortly. So this is now the mesh and to know that your screen is correct columns and correct length you need the measuring tape and check that it's more or less correct. Mine should be around 27-28 centimeters in between uh, so therefore these boxes are the correct length and correct height.